Hello, today we will be talking all about templates in C++. A template is a general function which can be called for any kind of data type. For example, let us look into this code. This is a C++ program for summing two integer numbers. It is absolutely fine code and it works. But what if we need to sum two numbers which are afloat data types? Again we should write the same function except, this is for float data types, and the only change in the function is its arguments. So templates play an important role here. It is used to pass data type as a parameter, so that we don't need to write the same code for different data types. Let's now look at how templates are written in C++. Function templates. Instead of copy pasting, we do it syntactically by writing template, angle bracket, class or type name, and user defined template name, generally, t is used. This line of code is important before defining any template function. Now, change all the data types in the function to the template name, t. Let's now compile and run our code. Yay! Our single function worked for both data types. But, how templates work? In this line, the keyword template tells the compiler that the function is a template function. Between the angle brackets, they are called template parameter, and the template name, t, can be replaced by any user-defined name. So, during compilation, the compiler does type checking before template expansion. So, before compiling, source code contains the only function, but compiled code may contain multiple copies of the same function for different data types. Let's now look at how templates can be used to make generic arrays and classes that are independent of any particular type. Templates for arrays. This is a C++ program that adds all the numbers in the array and prints it. To make this function as the template function, write the template line and change the data types in the function to the template name, t. It is just the same as the variable template as seen before. Yahoo! We got our output. Now, let's look into something interesting and important, templates for classes. Look at the C++ code. It has got a test class with an integer variable a, and a get, and a put function, where the former function takes an integer value as an input, and later prints it. Again, templates can be used here to get, and print for different data type values. Let us now look at, how it is done. Always remember that, whether it is a template function or a template class, it is must to write this line, template, angle bracket, class or type name, and any variable generally t. In this test class, a is the only variable which can be of any data type. So, change int to the template name t. To the functions defined outside the class, it is must to mention that they are template functions. So, before the scope operation, and after the class name of the member functions defined outside the class, insert, angle bracket, and the name, in our case it is t. And in our main function, while defining the class object, it is also must to mention that, what type of class it is. To do that, while defining the class object in the main function, after the class name, insert the data type of the variable, into the angular bracket. So, if we now compile and run our code, as we mentioned the class object is an integer, the compiler converts the code dynamically to an integer. Now, let's learn about array class templates. Look at this C++ code. It has got a test class, which has a pointer variable a, an integer variable n, get, and put functions, and parameterized constructor. The get function takes an input from the user and stores it in the array, and the put function prints them. The constructor assigns the value in the parameter, that is, s, to the class variable, n, and creates n sized array. Now, to make it a template class, repeat. 1. Write the template line before the class in the functions.
2. Change all the data types in the class and the functions to the template name. 3. Insert the template name into the angle brackets to the member functions defined outside the class. 4. Insert the data type of your class object. So, while compiling the compiler converts the array class to an integer, and when we run the code, we will get the desired output. Can there be more than one arguments to templates? Yes, we can. Look at this C++ code. In the test class, we find two data members of different data types. Here the get function takes the input of an integer, a, and float, b, from the user, and the put function prints them. Since this class has got two data members of two different data types, we should add two template arguments in the template line. And it is done by writing template angle bracket type name t1, comma, type name t2. Now, change all the data types to either T1 or T2 depending on what type it is. Also mention, both T1 and T2 in the member functions defined outside the class. In the main function, while defining the class object, specify the type of both data types of the class. So, now if we compile and run our code with T1 as integer and T2 as float, we will get the desired output. Yes. This is all about templates in C++. To learn more, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.